Hi, I'm Andrew Langlands, Account Manager at Flex Electricity, and we're here at Glenavon Growers in Yorkshire to learn how tomatoes and cucumbers uh, that you can buy in the supermarket are helping national grids balance the electricity system. There's about five megawatts of CHP capacity at the site, which is used predominantly to heat the greenhouses and provide CO2 for the crop. But Flex Electricity's job is to try to monetize any flexibility in the generation outside of the core site operational requirements. We have an outstation installed in the engine room at the site, which we use to take key signals from the CHPs, such as whether they're available to run or whether they are running already. Uh, we then offer that flexible capacity up to National Grid in the balancing mechanism uh, and dispatch those assets when they're required to balance the system. My name's David Schellingerhout. I'm the Managing Director of Glenhaven Growers. We're a, a nursery that produces uh, eight acres of cucumbers and eight acres of tomato. I'm now third generation running the family business. I came into the business in the late 70s. As far as um, our energy requirements for the business are concerned, um, energy accounts for approximately a third of our costs, so it's, it's, uh, it's something that we're paying off a lot of attention to. Over the years, our, uh, uh, the way we've met that, that need has, has changed due to changes in, in uh, the cost effectiveness of heavy fuel oil, gas, coal, and over the years we've, we've, we've had basically every type of heating you could, you could uh, have. Um, but back in the early 2000s, CHP became um, an attractive proposition for us. We've been working with Flextricity since about 2011. Um, Green Combined Power, uh, who are the company that uh, both maintain our engines and also manage our energy uh, supply and sale, um, have, have been um, the, the guiding force, if you like, in, in, in uh, pointing us in the right direction with regards to who to deal with. Um, they became aware of Flexitricity back in 2011. They, they were impressed with what they saw with regards to the professionalism of Flexitricity. With regarding any concerns I had with working with Flexitricity, the answer to that is, is no, because um, Andrew Brown of GCP was, um, was well aware of what our requirements were from a business's point of view. For example, from the beginning of March through to the end of October, we need one engine running 12 hours a day, seven days a week for the for, for the production of CO2 and nothing else. So, but he then knew outside of those uh, those times and with the other engine that we no longer needed for the heat because we only need that in January and February, that there was possibly an opportunity to maximise um, revenue um, um, from the, from those engines. So he was able to meet with uh, Flexitricity, explain to them what our requirements were as a business. Um, and, and so then explore what op avenues of income that could be uh, derived from, from, the, from the engines. As far as the, um, the energy management is concerned, as, as we've already seen over the years, things are forever changing. The government's forever coming up with new ideas and abandoning old ideas, and it's a case of remaining in a, in a position where we can be flexible and, and, and at attempt to work with any opportunities that there are. As we've seen, store has been very good to us for the last few years, but that's now seeming to be not so um, in, in favour, in, in, in vogue, but we've got uh, the balancing mechanism, which seems to be um, A, meeting a need, but also uh, giving us the opportunity to, to help keep our costs down, which is ultimately what the consumer wants. Our customers want the cheapest possible product. They, they like it to be British, but we've still got to be competitive at the same time. So that's where uh, anything we can do to keep our, our energy costs down, we will, we will uh, explore it.